Find the Right Key with Sanctuary or Reality, my comic review series. Time now for Cerebus issue 298, the 33rd chapter of Latter Days. <laughs> Night falls on the sanctuary, and all is silent for hours, until suddenly someone is trying to get a key to work in a lock. This struggle awakens Cerebus, and he witnesses his son, Shep Shep, as arrived at last, with no chaperone in tow, but carrying a small box. It seems Shep Shep used an old biblical trick to make O'Reilly see a snake that isn't there, which Cerebus laughs about, his son being a little scamp, just like in the old days. Only Cerebus calls him Shep Shep, as that's what the boy called himself when he was younger and couldn't pronounce his actual name of Shishep Ankh, which is a Hebrew name meaning beloved of God, according to New Joanne, that is. Shep Shep reveals it's actually an Egyptian name, meaning living symbol. When Cerebus brings up his ex-wife, and how she used to be scared of resembling Joanne from the Book of Rick, Shep Shep reveals the truth about that conversation, which, according to his mother, contradicts Cerebus's. Just how is New Joanne doing now, anyway? This is a good issue. It's it's the merely the beginning of the climax of the series, and which comes to a head next issue. So it's it's the establishment of the pace of the whole father son dynamic, as it as it's going to be. Cerebus finally gets what he's wanted for so long, namely to have his son come visit. Remember what Cerebus's Pope once said: "You can get what you want and still not be very happy." In this case, things are quickly souring from what Cerebus wanted or expected. Shep Shep is decidedly ominous the whole time. Whose side is he on, anyway? Well, you can, you can easily ascertain that from this issue. But it unfolds nicely, and it's just mysterious enough to keep you intrigued as to what his motive is for showing up after so long. Next time, Cerebus faces his greatest challenge, his own son.